February 21, 2022, Tuesday of the seventh week in Ordinary Time, Saint of the Day, Saint Severian. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the book of Sirach. My son, when you come to serve the Lord, stand in justice and fear. Prepare yourself for trials. Be sincere of heart and steadfast. Incline your ear and receive the word of understanding and disturbed in time of adversity. Wait on God with patience. Cling to Him. Forsake Him not. Thus will you be wise in all your ways. Accept whatever befalls you. When sorrowful, be steadfast. In crushing misfortune, be patient. For in fire, gold and silver are tested, and worthy people in the crucible of humiliation. Trust God, and God will help you. Trust in Him, and He will direct your way. Keep His fear and grow old therein. You who fear the Lord, wait for His mercy. Turn not away, lest you fall. You who fear the Lord, trust Him, and your reward will not be lost. You who fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. You who fear the Lord, love Him, and your heart shall be enlightened. Study the generations long past and understand. Has anyone hoped in the Lord and been disappointed? Has anyone persevered in His commandments and been forsaken? Has anyone called upon Him and been rebuffed? Compassionate and merciful is the Lord. He forgives sins, He saves in time of trouble, and He is a protector to all who seek Him in truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Commit your life to the Lord, and He will help you. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and He will grant you your heart's requests. Commit your life to the Lord, and He will help you. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of famine, they have plenty. Commit your life to the Lord, and He will help you. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them, because they take refuge in him. Commit your life to the Lord and He will help you. Alleluia, alleluia. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the Word has been crucified to me and I to the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent, for they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, 
If anyone wishes to be the first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection Jesus and his disciples were traveling through Galilee. He was teaching his disciples, and he said to them, The Son of Man will be handed over and will be killed. Three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. His disciples did not understand what Jesus was saying to them. Would what he foretold really come true? How come that be? Jesus was a great teacher and rabbi, and they hesitated to question him about this. They arrived in Capernaum, and when they were seated in the house where they were staying, Jesus asked his disciples, What were you arguing about during our journey? The disciples were silent and embarrassed. The topic of their conversation had been, Who was the greatest disciple? Most likely, they knew that Jesus would not approve of their conversation. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to be first shall be the last of all and servant of all. Jesus then called a little child over to him and said to the disciples, Whoever receives one child in my name receives me. Whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Power and renown. In our world, this is what many people long for and strive for. Think of all the movie stars, rock singers, models, and political candidates who vie for publicity, power, and fame. Do they actually believe that this will bring them true happiness, or are they simply caught up in the world's values? Jesus wants us to find our happiness and security in Him, not in fame or fortune. Naturally, we all want others to think well of us. And in of itself, it is not bad. However, we get into trouble when we are driven to look good or to achieve so that we gain status, honor, or esteem. We believe that people will approve of us and of what we have accomplished. Today, I invite you to take some time and ask yourself, How important is power and admiration to me? Do I hope other people admire me? Or am I content to live my life as well as I can and not need approval from others? There is no guile in young children. They simply are who they are. They trust, they love, they enjoy life, and yet we adults often consider them immature. In many ways they are, yet they can be a great example to us of what truly is important in life. Today, observe a child, imitate a child. You may have a wonderful day.